Well, y'all missed it. I just smashed into a vehicle. <laughs> I'm not even joking about that. I immediately got out of my car and checked the other vehicle and no damage was done, which just proves that Fiona is the best car in the world. <laughs> now, I think that you guys know me. I'm the type of person that takes full responsibility for the damage that I cause and no damage was done to this truck. Like, I barely even scratched the motherfucker. That's what's crazy about it. <laughs> like, I was backing out. I was backing out, and all of a sudden, I hear this, this sound. And I was like, oh shit, I just hit something. <laughs> you see, I told you, I'm a reckless driver with or without you, Vortex. It makes no difference. You can make it all about you if you would like, but I really wish you wouldn't like because it ain't got shit to do with you, okay? Uh, Shane Bianchi told me tonight that his, uh, my material gets better every time he sees me. That's cool. I can't believe, he's such a sweetheart. He really is. Everybody thinks he's a dick, but he ain't a dick. If he is, he's just the head, he's just the, the penis head. He told me that, that he's staying here just so he can watch me do an hour. That he was fixing to go to fucking Austin. Hold on one second. We gotta get on the interstate. You guys know the drill. Let's wait here for these semi trucks to pass. Holy shit. Okay, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Pass me, pass me, pass me, thank you. Keep going, keep going, Semi, keep going. I know you can do it, I believe in you. I have faith, I have faith, let's do it. Let's do it, let's let's move over, let's move over. All right, we did it, we did it, let's keep going, let's keep going, yes! It's always an accomplishment every single time. Especially with a camera in your hand too, man, exactly. Not many people are willing to take these risks. <laughs> but yeah, Shane said he was gonna go to Austin. Does it really matter where you go in comedy? I mean, I know this probably sounds lame. Like, I'm probably selling myself short not going to different places. Maybe I should go to Chicago. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I really don't. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this state. Mainly because I'm stuck in my head. I can't get out of my head. And I'm attached to my jobs. A lot of people don't understand that. Like, why would you get attached to shitty jobs? I don't know. Why do you stay in bad relationships? You know, you're just, you're just stuck. I guess that's how I feel. I mean, every time that I've tried to leave, every time that I've tried to go somewhere and like do something, it's like, I just, I just feel like I'm better off being patient and, you know, like what my drug dealer said, you know, just staying in my lane rather than like branching out and trying to get more feedback and more audience and, you know, more this, more that. It's all about more for these people. And I'm satisfied with what I have, you know? I'm satisfied. But other people don't really think like me. Like they, they're more explorative, exploratory. You know what I'm getting at. They explore, I don't. I explore in my brain. I don't need to do that anywhere else. Because anytime that I, I attempt to explore outside of my brain, it's like everything's the same. You know, the people are the same. All the cities are the same. You know, maybe that's not true. Maybe I'm just lying to myself. I'm aware of the fact that I can do that. It's just, as aware of myself as I am, I'm definitely cognizant of the fact that, you know, I could be lying to myself in order to justify, 
you know, not moving up and out of this particular space that I'm in. But it's like I mean something to the people I perform for here. And if they really want to watch me, they can watch my YouTube channel, damn it. Like, <laughs> they, they want me to do it their way. But it's like, their way is death. I mean, how, how bad do things need to get before they start listening to crazy people like me, you know? 